Every morning at 10 o'clock, Monday through Friday, young men and women gather at Arbor Youth Services for the organization's street outreach program. The goal is to connect with youth on the streets, in the parks, and in other places where they are at risk of violence and exploitation. Many are homeless and staying at shelters throughout Lexington. But they come here to get much needed help the shelters cannot provide. They come here to get back on their feet. I was a drug addict. They helped me get into rehab, helped me see who I can be and what I should be to better myself. And they helped me along every step of the way. And without the Street Outburst program, I would still be an addict and possibly dead by now. I'd be still living on the streets, things like that. I will not have no job, I won't be in school. I'd be just, I don't know. I don't know what to call it. The Street Outreach Program provides a safe atmosphere where youth can get some hot food, take a shower, pick up toiletries, donated clothing, and even do their laundry. In addition, the program helps the youth with their financial, educational, and medical needs. They help me start managing my money so I can have a place to stay. And now I do. I do have a place to stay now. And um, they're helping me get supplies for my house and keep food in my house. So they, they've been a big help to me. With not being able to have a lot of transportation to a lot of the stuff that I need to have done, um, they definitely help out with a lot of, you know, if I need to go to a doctor's appointment or if I need to go file some, for some papers and stuff, they'll take me to go take care of that. And what would these young men and women do without a program like this? I, I think that they would be trying to find help in so many different places that it would, it would be harder for them because we help them out so, in so many different ways, but they only have to come here. A dedicated staff and volunteers are always on hand to help out in any way they can. The staff is neat. They're really, you know, caring. They, they give a lot of help and they care a lot. Like, they treat us like we are family. You know, we're not just some people off the street that they're helping. It's like we're family to them. This is also a place where friends are made. Friends that offer each other love and support. I feel like the staff is like a mom type thing to me and the kids are like brothers and sisters and it's just we all connect and they all help us, we push each other to reach the goals and strive to become what we can be and what we should be and it's just a positive atmosphere and it's just, it's great, <laughs> I can't, I don't know, it's great, I love it. It means a lot to me. If I didn't have the Arbor Youth Services, I probably would have a hard time doing a lot of stuff. Next door, Arbor Youth Services has its MASH drop-in emergency shelter. This shelter serves children from infants to 17 years of age who are runaway, homeless, or otherwise in crisis. Youth may request shelter themselves or be referred by the police, their parents, or guardians. They can also be referred by a teacher, counselor, social worker, or other professional. The shelter provides a safe, fun environment. Thank you, Elijah. Happy birthday to you. Hey, we take care of their basic needs. We take them to school every day. We make sure that they stay in school. Then we have an after-school program for them here. Um, and that's for middle school and high school kids. And we feed them, we give them rides anywhere that they need to doctor's appointments. Um, we just basically want to keep them safe from the type of situation that they were in before. Arbor Youth Services relies on private donations to cover its administrative and overhead costs, such as staff, lights, water, and heating. Federal grants cover specific needs of a child, like food and uh, shelter and clothing, um, furniture for them, that sort of thing. Arbor Youth Services also receives reimbursement funds from the Kentucky Department for Community-Based Services when a child is placed in our MASH drop-in emergency shelter. But we rely on other grants and external donations to cover other areas. And our budget this year, for example, we need $100,000 of private or outside grant donations besides federal to keep our programs running like they're running right now. If you'd like to make a donation to help Arbor Youth Services continue its valuable programs, please give them a call at 859-254-5500.
2501. Your gift will be much appreciated and no doubt will help change lives. It means a lot because it helps. It helps to have people that care about you.